If you had the power or the chance to make a person's day or to impact someone's life or even to make a person smile for that day, would you be willing to do it? Why would you pass it up? This is an idea that I've had since Thanksgiving. I just never got around to doing it now. Today's the day I finally do it. Why are we looking down on our sisters and brothers? Isn't love all that we got? So we know everyone. This, this whole video isn't focused around me. I don't want it to be focused around me. This video's purpose is to teach people to be kind, to inspire people to be kind, to inspire people to be empathetic, to inspire people to be compassionate and care for other people, just unconditionally, for no reason but to just help out one another. Around, there were too many others crying. I've had this idea for so long, and I've wanted to do it for the longest time. You see, I'm blessed to have so many things in my life. I'm so blessed to have an amazing niece. I'm so blessed to have an amazing family. I'm so blessed to have amazing friends and a, and a job. I'm blessed to have all these things, and I don't know. When you're given blessings, you bless others. Not because you have to, not because you want to look good in their eyes. You don't do it because of that, you do it because it's the right thing to do. You know the saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, in the same instance, when you give them blessings, you don't waste them. You don't, you don't let your blessings sit on the counter and rot and be wasted. Use those blessings to bless others, to impact other people's lives, to make people's days brighter and better. To give value to someone. To give hope to someone. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. It says to say okay, Google, but I'm saying okay, Google. Like, what the f- You wanna work? Okay, Google. What's the definition of sympathy? Sympathy, feelings of pity and sorrow for someone else's misfortune. I'm going through that stage of life where I struggled through a lot, where I thought I was lonely, I thought I was going nowhere in life. That's what homeless people feel. Because they literally have nothing. They legit, physically have nothing left. They have no hope. They have no values. They lost their blessings in life. They lost God. They lost faith. They lost their morals. They lost their homes. They lost their nieces. They lost everything in their life. When life gives you lemons, you do make lemonade. And when life gives you blessings, you make blessing aid. Blessing lemonade. I don't fucking, I don't know. people's lives and to take the things that I was given, take all my blessings and give them to someone who is less fortunate enough to have them. Give them to people who lost everything. I want to be able to give everything that I have to someone that doesn't have a lot or doesn't have anything that I have. Would that be a home? Would that be happiness? Would that be Blessings. I chose to do this thing with the homeless because they lost everything that they had in their lives. And I want to be able to go 
and tell them that it's going to be okay to give some of my blessings back. To show them that they still have value. to do this whole experience, it, it really opens your eyes to what people are struggling with. It puts you in their world. Being in that type of situation taught me to look at the world in someone else's eyes. Being able to understand what they're going through and seeing physically what they're going through firsthand in person. It was a life-changing experience. It truly was and it's something that I want to do more of. What I do it, pretty much like what I said in the beginning of this video, if you have the power to change a person's life, to impact a person's life, even if it's for a second, you would take that opportunity in a heartbeat. And why won't you do that? I guess I'm asking the question why won't you do that if you guys like, I have a, I have a giver mentality and it's stupid because I know that the amount of things that I give, I won't be able to get most of it back. And maybe that's stupid in some people's eyes, but at the same time, you gotta look at it this way. When you're doing things for other people, when you're being there for people who need that reassurance maybe in their lives after they broke up with their boyfriend or girlfriend, if they're going through like depression and stress and you want to be there to help them out. You can't look at the situation and go, what can I gain from it? Because there shouldn't be anything that you're looking to gain from it. Never. My friends always ask me, why would you invest your time into someone or invest that time that you'll never get back? Invest all that effort back. And the thing is, maybe I don't want any, any of it back. Call me dumb, but maybe I just wanted to be there for that person. Not to gain anything from it. This generation, it... We do a lot of things for self-validation. We do a lot of things to look better in other people's eyes, to flex on others. We're not entirely grateful for what we have, and we're not entirely... We don't know how good the situation that we're in is, and how it would be a dream to be in our situation for someone who isn't in that situation, who is homeless. Any opportunity that you can change a person's life in that aspect and any opportunity that you can take to at least make a person feel like they're on top of the world even for a day, to make them feel like they're going to be okay, even for a second, even for a minute. To think that someone actually took their time out of their day to go and help them because they wanted to, because they needed it. Why isn't it sickening true to do it with everyone? Because with every opportunity, you can't think about what you're going to gain from it. I want to be a difference in someone's life. Even if it's for a minute, even if it's for a day. Everyone deserves to be happy. Everyone deserves to be in a better place than where they are. Everyone has worth, and sometimes it's hard to find that worth. I want to teach and inspire my future kids. My future wife, my one-year-old niece, I want to be able to inspire them to do the same things and to place a value in someone that doesn't think they have it, that doesn't think they have value. Like I said, if you have the power to change a person's day, to impact a person's life, to make them smile to give them worth, to give them value. Nothing to, nothing for you to gain from it. You giving 100% and they giving 0%. Would you do it? Are you willing to be selfless for a second? Yeah. Uh, 
I don't feel like Everybody get your motherfucking roll on. I don't show you and she doesn't want no slow song. Had a man last year, like.